I've got this nice small trident maple and this whole forest of trident maple. And all of these were grown from seed. But now what do you do when you don't have a trident maple with seeds on them? For this, we have to go back a little bit in time. Let's go back to earlier this year in summer. Can you take late summer cuttings of trident maple? That's what Save Here of um, Expressions of Grace Bonsai posted today on YouTube. Hmm. Hmm. You want me to do what? Hmm. I don't know. I am going to cut it right back there. And this great big monster shoot, I'm going to take a load of cuttings from. For the cuttings, I am favoring the ones with short internodes. And I'm taking both tip cuttings as well as stem cuttings, dipping them in my favorite rooting hormone before sticking them. You know, I don't have a problem saying your name, Jelly. You know, I just think of a packet of dessert from England and Jelly. Um, and it's never been a problem for me, but it's Zay V R. As in R, isn't he a good bonsai master? Yeah, Zay V R. Um, yeah, just think of X Men. Xavier, maybe you can also give us a little. Recap of how you took cuttings just now. My intention this year round, and it was the first time I've done it, was to experiment with just pure sphagnum moss. And, you know, it's not because I haven't had great results just doing it the traditional way, the boring way, which um, you know, I'm sure you're going to tell us about that. Um, but no, it's just getting out there, going out on a limb and just seeing just how good sphagnum moss is for doing this process. Put it in these. And what I've got is pure sphagnum moss in both of these. I adapted coverings um, and I'm going to see how they get on. Into the rooting. We'll see how I work with this sphagnum moss. So, don't know. We'll see what happens. Removing lower branches um, reduces transpiration and I like to cut right at a node. Basically, I'm doing the same thing for trident maples as I would for Japanese maples when I want to root these cuttings. Here the internodes are quite long. Tossing that out. So, there you have it. Two ways to take mature, late summer, cuttings of trident maple. Savior, using spachnum moles, and I am using my vermiculite. Um, if you want to know more about the exact details on how we took these cuttings, Xavier has a nice video which I've linked down below. Also, in general, check out his channel. There's quite a few interesting stories on what happens in his garden and how he's growing bonsai and how his pots get routinely tossed over. Um, and I have a video on general taking cuttings of Japanese maple. And I've used exactly the same method now on these tridents. And we'll see. Stop beating around the bush, Xavier. Time to show and tell. I brought mine out. Where are yours? You popped up along. Sorry, you want me to do what? My cuttings. I thought that was a joke. My cuttings. Um, I'll take you down to the greenhouse where I've got the cuttings at the moment. Um, there's a couple of tubs that I took. I think it was August 23rd. Right. Yes, well, you may already have seen that's my cuttings. Let's bring them up and just find out uh, how badly I did. I suppose he's gonna, he's gonna wanna see how they've worked out. I mean, I was experimenting. Yeah, 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 it's all in the greenhouse. You've got them from the greenhouse, now show me. How have they done? If you have any ideas on which method will work best, feel free to pop a comment below and let us know. already. I was hoping you were going to leave me alone. Well, after uh, digging through all that very, very wet sphagnum, um, I did find some leaves. I mean, there's leaves on these, they're good. But unfortunately, I've got uh, about 15 sticks. But what I have got, one, two, three, four, five really strong ones. And then here I've got two that are calloused over and there are very, very small roots. Very, very small. 
What did you get? Only five out of, what, 20? So that's only 25%. Disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Um, I think I can do better. Let me go there. Doesn't look good, does it? Most of them must be dead. This one has leaves, but that's about it. Hmm, a bit concerned. Let's see what happens if I take these out of the tray. <sighs> nice and wet, maybe that's a problem. Savior, I think yours were also very wet, weren't they? Popping them out. No roots. No, I haven't cheated, but of all those um, those different cuttings you saw at various stages in the clips, um, this was actually the final total. Um, and I know, Yelly, it's actually a few more than I said to you. Um, so we've got three, six, nine, twelve. I actually got thirteen that um, I've got I've got roots from. Of those thirteen, three of them um, are literally just the beginning nodules of callusing over. That's those, that one, that one, and that one. So I've got absolutely 10 full-blooded, got roots on them, done well. Three that I know they'll continue to form roots. No roots. Is that a root? No, that's not a root. No roots. No roots. No roots. There we go, roots. Some callousing, but no roots. Ah, keep that one. No roots. No roots. Don't tell anyone. I'm going to collect these for my garden. And I'm, I'm just going to tell Xavier that these are rooted cuttings as well. I mean, I can't let him win. Do you think he has won? Let me know in the comments. Who do you think won? And you better be fair. Um, so 15 and 13, is that 28? If we say uh, it's probably nearer to just under 50% success rate. Um, and that is the worst success rate I've had doing cuttings of tridents. Um, and I'm going to put that down entirely down to the fact that if the sphagnum stays too moist, the roots just take either so long or never get a chance to form. So, right. Final tally. Saviour. Told you, I had no clue about rooting trident maples and you had to insist that I try this. Well, this is the result. I've got one with roots and two with a bit of callus over your 60 or 70% rooting. Well done. <sighs> I'll be honest, I didn't actually expect to win. Now, of course, I can have all these nice stories on how to take care of these cuttings afterwards, but we really should talk to the guy over there in the UK. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep these out of the frost. Trident maples are a little bit more tricky with frost than the Japanese maple. And besides that, I'm just going to wait for spring and see whether they live or die. If you go to Savior's channel, drop him a line. Tell him Yella says hi. But yeah, so for this experiment, absolutely fantastic. Loved it. Thank you so much for letting me take part. So um, what I am going to challenge you to now is in a couple of weeks time, probably mid-November, nearer December, I'm gonna have another go at hardwood cuttings. Um, and I've failed dismally every time I've tried hardwood cuttings, but I think I've got a little secret method. I, I think I may have a, a trick up my sleeve. Oh, you want to challenge me now? So now that you've won this one, you think, oh, I'll do another one, right? Well, you know what? Challenge accepted. Let's take a dozen maple, and a dozen trident if you've got them. Um, I'm also going to take uh, a dozen hawthorn because they're so difficult, so difficult. I'll take a dozen of something else, but the main experiment's on the maples. Then I'm also going to take another another dozen uh, maples at the end of January. Um, and the reason why I'm doing that is another secret. 
But uh, yes, yeah, so that's my challenge to you, Yelly. And anyone else who uh, also fancies doing that as well, perhaps we can uh, get back in sometime June, maybe June, July, and have a look and see if we've actually got some uh, success from them. Um, yeah, I guess this is it. Um, any final words, Xavier? Anything from your side you want to add? Yeah, fantastic. Uh, and again, thanks so much, Ellie. So from uh, Xavier, way down here in the, uh, the back door. Is that someone the back door? I'll say cheers, God bless. And uh, I'll hand you back to your, your host and your Jedi master. I mean, this cutting has grown exceptionally well, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, you're right. I didn't take this one. Right. Oh, can I have my lunch now as well? And don't you start. Oh, by the way, I, 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 I've just received today that, uh, that thing you sent me in the post. You said it would, it would give me inspiration. Inspiration to achieve better things with bonsai. Huh. <laughs> Are you joking? A picture of you in your denims? Dear viewers on my channel, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure what's happened to Xavier. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm flattered or concerned for his or my personal well-being. And he thought, what should I do with this guy? So you want me to put this wherever my working is so that whenever I'm in doubt or not sure what to do, I just ask the bonsai master. Yeah, they, I can do that for you, but honestly, I think the rest of the world is gonna have some questions to ask of you. Cheers. And don't, don't cut all the good bits out of me because I know most people wanna see me, not you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Any chance you could sign this for me? It'd be worth an awful lot more money.